rappers and music producers, Curtis King at CurtisKingTV.com, posing a question. What would you do if your music career died today? What legacy would you leave? Let's talk about writing your own eulogy. Something I did in the Curtis King TV community. You may be surprised by the results. Let's talk about it. Rappers and music producers within my private community at Curtis King TV, I gave an assignment like I usually do in our daily workshops that we have from Monday through Thursday. This particular assignment really touched home for a lot of people and required the rappers and producers that are in attendance to really dig deep on something that I think a lot of us sort of think about but we don't give too much attention and we definitely should be thinking about this at least once a month. The assignment was this, basically I wanted them to imagine a world in which their career as a music producer, whether you're selling beats online or you're trying to get placements, your career as a rapper or a songwriter and you're releasing songs independently, albums, whatever the case may be, I wanted them to picture a world in which their career died today. If it were to die today, I wanted them to speak about not only what legacy they left behind, but what were some of the things that they didn't achieve. This particular assignment was called writing the eulogy to your own music career. Now, upon first glance, some people may look at this and be like, oh, that's kind of morbid. That's kind of like depressing. Why would I want to do that if I'm still writing out the details of it? I understand where you're coming from, but also I would argue there's a bigger benefit to you actually sitting down and taking time to take the steps in the due diligence that that it requires to really think about this question. If your music career were to die today, who would it be survived by? What legacy would it have left? How many sales or customers would you have left behind? How would they feel about it? Would they be putting RIP to your business for a week and then move on to something else as a trending topic on Twitter? Or would people be genuinely hurt that your musical contribution is not being felt anymore? Now, what happened when I gave this assignment was that I started to see a lot of rappers and music producers that had a lot of really honest conversations with themselves about what they thought their legacy was. And the things that they were focusing on that was really taking up a majority of their time weren't actually moving the needle towards what they ultimately wanted to be known for. A lot of them wanted to help millions and millions of people through their music but a lot of them were spending a lot of time more on social media and gaming and they were actually spending time doing the very thing that gave their life purpose their career purpose and that's the thing about it with them writing these eulogies it reminds them it refocuses them that I have a purpose that is bigger than just the right now. A lot of us don't think about this, but there may be a reality that your career is already dead, right where it stands, and you're just gonna pretty much just kinda live on life support until you decide you don't wanna make music anymore. If you, even if that's the case, you wanna know if that's the truth so you can stop wasting your time with this and start to figure out, you know what, maybe I may not be double XL freshman Grammy Award winner, maybe this is not within, maybe this is not within my particular journey, but I still have an opportunity to have a purposeful, a fulfilled, and a happy music career. But I think that this is only going to come after you really sit down with your eulogy. When you think about a eulogy, we immediately associate that obviously with people who have passed away. When you think about somebody's legacy and just as a human being, aside from this music career assignment, think about somebody's legacy that they leave just as a human being. A lot of folks, it's crazy, they will live these really messed up lives and do people really, really dirty and then when they go to the funeral, people gotta be hearing other people's eulogies that are just complete lies like, he was a nice person and people looking around like the hell she talking about he was a given person he never gave to me and i'm his grandson he was a very heart warming funny guy he ain't never told me no joke what the hell is he talking about and so that's the case is that a lot of people start to add extras on a eulogy but in all in all it's really about the bigger picture when people are eulogizing over somebody that's passed away you really want to look at their highlights but at the same time i think there's an internal conversation that goes on when people are at a funeral and they think about to themselves man what impact did this person have on my life and that's something that i definitely want you to be in touch with when it comes to your music career nobody wants to be out here wasting their time wasting their energy wasting their skill, wasting any particular abilities that you have to really be stepping within your purpose and instead just kind of wasting away time in the most entertaining way possible. And this is something that I'm actually suggesting to not only my community, I'm throwing it out there to you. Could you today, if your music career died, 
eulogize a summary of your career in five to seven sentences, one paragraph. Because you, if you've ever been to a funeral, you know some people like to go on and on and on and on and on. That's not what we're doing here. Five to seven sentences. And then I want you to have the perspective of this. After you have wrote this down, because I would even love for you to share this in the comments. After you wrote down this eulogy, would you sit inside the casket and get up and be like, really? Like imagine yourself talking to yourself outside your casket. Like really, fool, that's all you got to say about this career? And many of them nice as we spent by a nightlight, making beats, doing all of these IG videos, that's all you got to say? Uh, you know, he was a producer, he made some fire beats, he left a bunch of beats on the hard drive, and uh, I mean, I don't know, like, he liked to eat Twinkies when he made beats with Red Bull. So like, shout out to Red Bull, yeah. That's it though. How depressing would that be? So ultimately, this is what's going to happen. Two things that are very important to writing this eulogy for your music career. And like I said, I would love for you to write that and put it in the comments below. One, you're going to actually start to highlight the things that actually mean something to you. So you'll be more aligned with your purpose after doing this. Secondly, what's gonna happen is that you're gonna get a chance to look at the scoreboard and realize you put up a lot of points on that board. And as many times as we're very difficult on ourselves, especially music producers, we're very difficult and very challenging and tough on ourselves and our worst critic, we don't realize sometimes, damn, I put up so many points on the scoreboard, I'm actually ahead by a lot. And if I were to give myself credit or even sit for a second and reflect upon the things that I have done, I'd have a lot better self-esteem and really self-confidence as I move into other tasks because I already have proof of concept. I did it. I've done it many times. I think that's one of the beautiful things about hitting rock bottom multiple times. When you show yourself that you can climb back up, it's not really a big deal to climb back up. You just know when you're at the bottom, you got nowhere to look but up. So I encourage you, write this eulogy, share it within the comments below, and let's start getting more aligned with our purpose. Once again, this is another video from Curtis King TV. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for the notification so that you know when these videos come out. For those of you out there that are liking and sharing, I completely appreciate you. If you want to get more in depth in terms of this kind of information, you want to be a part of this private community that does assignments like this all the time, and you want to share your thoughts with people who are supportive, people that want to be your accountability partner, come join us at CurtisKingTV.com. I cannot stress it enough. Come join us and be a part of daily workshops from Monday through Thursday that reach from FL Studio Zoom meetings that we have, workshops, and and even songwriting workshops that we have along with marketing and even mental health Mondays that we can talk about when you come to the other side. But please join CurtisKingTV.com for more information. In this life, you will not be full of life until you decide to live life to its fullest. Once again, it's the leading voice of the online rapper and music producer community. Don't at me. Peace. Look up, Nazi. Say cheese. <laughs>